Hey everyone, today we're talking about what do you do when your hamstrings are a different length while you're deadlifting? So uh, the way to test this is generally you lay on your back and you keep your legs straight and you pick one leg up straight as high as you can and then you do the other side as high as you can and you see how far they go. So if if one goes a lot further than the other one, that's generally indicative, if, if at least somebody else is lifting your leg, that's generally indicative that that hamstring is a little bit longer. If it goes further, it means I can bend over more, right? It means I can stretch that hamstring more. And if I have an asymmetry here, like let's say, for example, we're gonna use me for an example. My left hamstring is a lot longer than my right hamstring. So when I deadlift, I'm gonna get different tension out of each of those hamstrings and therefore I'm going to feel different things on each side. So when I deadlift, I shouldn't feel the same stretch in both of my hamstrings as I bend over, right? I'm keeping a nice kind of flat, maybe more rounded than you're used to position and I RDL down and I get a stretch in my hamstrings, I shouldn't feel that evenly in both sides. Since my left one is longer, I shouldn't feel it as much. I should feel more of a stretch in my right side. So it'll feel really weird to you because it's gonna feel way off. It's gonna feel like, oh my God, I'm totally off kilt here. Um, I don't know if that's the expression, but it's gonna feel off, right? So what I want you to do is be really objective about what you're doing. Film yourself from behind and make sure that your, your hips are about centered in between your feet. That's kind of your indicator when you're looking at videos of your uh, deadlift or your RDL. So use that and correlate that with what you're feeling. It's best if you can do it, pay attention to how you feel, and then go look at the video right away before you do your next set.